Game Reactor is here at Paris Games Week, and this time we're taking a look at a very interesting project because I'm here with uh, Thierry Platon and Frederic Grenat from Gloomywood, and they're showing their project, Too Dark. But uh, maybe you could start by uh, introducing the game to our viewers and readers out there. Hi, uh, Too Dark is a stealth horror adventure game. It's a kind of survival horror, but uh, this one is more orientated to uh, um, stealth. So uh, it's kind of different than other uh, survival horror uh, that you can find. In this game, uh, you play the role of Mr. Smith with an, an old cop. Um, the, um, his children has been kidnapped and uh, he's searching for him since years. And uh, you will try to find them through different uh, houses then of uh, serial killers who kidnap kids. So uh, as he's searching for his own kids, he will deliver and you need in every house of every serial killer to deliver a lot of kids, the maximum amount of kids. So the choice of art style particularly was something that is like uh, immediately uh, sort of apparent to the eye. What made you go with this particular art style? Yeah, this is, I, I guess this is my way, because when I did Alone in the Dark, I was looking for a new kind of visualization. It was free. Uh, after, for Little Big Adventure, also, I tried something else with uh, isometric bitmap uh, scenery with 3D characters in it. And I always like to mix different kind of technology to find a new kind of visual. But it's not, the goal is not, not only to have a new visual, it's also to, to make it fit to the game. So for this game, I wanted to have a gameplay like a dual stick shooter game or mouse and keyboard to have a game very, very uh, playable, easily play, playable. And so it really, the, the graphics uh, serves the gameplay a lot. I didn't want that the, 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 the players can be lost because he's in 3D and he doesn't know exactly what's happening. With this kind of representation, it's very obvious, very easy to play. Everybody can play it. So you are not afraid by be lost in the ergonomics of the interface. The game is easy, so if you're lost, if you are afraid, it's for really for good reasons. So you would probably not be too far off if you describe Too Dark as a horror experience. What kind of approach did you take to scare players in Too Dark? Ah, oh, there are a lot of secrets I can tell, but uh, you know, the, 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 all the mood of the game, you are investigating serial killers then, so you will, uh, all of them, we have uh, 10 serial killers in the game, all of them are very, very, uh, how can I say that, uh, dark, <laughs> they are too dark. In <laughs> fact, you're afraid when you lose the control, I mean in general, in the life, so maybe our main purpose is to put the player in the situation, you feel like I lose the control, so you will discover. We, we're looking forward to getting lost and getting scared in Too Dark in not too long. Um, maybe you could uh, tell us a bit about your new studio now, Gloomywood, which of course is a new venture for you. Gloomywood is a, a studio, a, 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 a video game band, yeah. No, it's great. Uh, it's a, well, everybody is happy at Gloomywood. <laughs> yes, we are 14 now. So uh, yes, everybody is completely dedicated to, uh, to to dark, and things are going very well. Yeah. It's not so gloomy, in fact. No. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have lights and electricity for the computers. Right. <laughs> That's a start. Yes, That's a good, start. good start. Yes. So. Um, going back to this horror genre, as we spoke about just before the cameras went on, the, the horror genre has changed a lot uh, over the course of sort of these last couple of years, it's seen like, and renaissance. What, uh, what are you taking your inspirations from for Too Dark? Oh, the inspiration is for several ways because Thierry uh, is writing the, the scenario of the of the game, and he likes uh, horror movies, he likes cartoons, he likes things like that. Uh, for Run the Dark, my inspiration was a lot of from uh, all the Italian horror movies. But actually, for Too Dark, I was really looking for something different. So I can say my inspiration is from all the all the horror adventure games that exist now. And uh, but it's not an inspiration because I try to find something really different than all of them. So that's why it's completely different. That's why it doesn't look like Alone in the Dark or things like that. I really wanted, we really wanted to investigate a, a new way of, uh, of making uh, an horror game. So uh, the game is uh, right now scheduled for release on uh, PC, Mac and Linux. 
But are you also aiming for a console release in the future? Maybe you can... Uh... Yes, of course. I, I mean, we want, yeah. so uh, we hope. Yes, that's it. Yeah, we really hope. So it's kind of uh, it will means that uh, the 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 game is growing up very uh, well. So uh, yes, we really hope so. Yeah. So here, wrapping up, can you maybe give all the horror hungry fans out there just a little tiny bit of information on when they can get their hands on Too Dark? Oh, I think it's uh, we are used to say Q1 to uh, 2016. Uh, less, yes, maybe you. Uh, let maybe it. Q2. <laughs> maybe Q2. Yes. When it's ready. That's a gloomy answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for uh, participating in this interview. For a lot more interviews here from Paris Games Week, stay tuned to Game Reactor.